What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be installing this Whirly intake on this L5P right here behind me. Now for the longest time, I want to get an intake for my truck, but the thing is, Whirly doesn't have any intakes out yet for a 2020. Now I know S&B currently, I think just this week, dropped their uh, S&B cold air intake for the 20s. But um, as of right now, like I said, Whirly only has intakes for 17 through 19 trucks. So that's what we're going to be doing right now, installing this intake. Um, I already opened the box to see what it looked like. But um, the option that we went with it was gloss black. Um, I'm going to wrap this here in a second just to see what it looks like. I'm actually kind of curious on uh, what the fit and finish of this intake is going to look like. I just want to do a full install of how to install it um, on the truck here behind me. Now, I've never actually done an install on one of these intakes. i only seen them on the trucks. And the fit and finish does look top quality, top notch. So I'm really curious to see um, what it's going to look like. And also, too, it does clean up this engine bay a lot. Um, makes it look a lot more neat in here and gets rid of that like ugly plastic one that comes from the factory Now I already got the factory intake off. Um, you really only just need a screwdriver and it pops right off And um, so far I looked this over and it looks like you're only gonna need an 11 millimeter to install this So it should go pretty quick. I'm um, in the box here. We got the filter and everything like that So um, let's go ahead here now and uh, start installing this bad boy on the truck We really haven't had these intakes out yet for too long. So I really don't have much experience with them So and I love the way Whirly packs everything. It comes so neat and really wrapped up. They really protect their stuff. So here's the box unwrapped. Looks super clean and neat unwrapped. Um, let's go ahead here now. Get this unwrapped. Whirly Custom Fab. That looks so clean. Their powder coating too is top notch. I like how clean that is. So we'll get installed, wipe it all down, get all the fingerprints off at the end. and. Uh, See how it goes. It should be, like I said, a really quick install. Um, really not much to it. Actually, upon opening the filter, I saw it came like this little sleeve for the filter. So let's go ahead here now, get this on here, and then uh, we'll start throwing everything on the truck. That's what it looks like when it installed. Looks really clean. I like the little touches that they put on this. Really pulls everything together. All right, so now I got everything out of the box. Upon looking it over, there's a few things that I noticed. One, on um, these four bolts down here, one, two, three, and four, we're gonna have to pull those out just so the intake box can sit in there. Besides the bolts, we have to get the old mass airflow sensor off the old intake and get installed on this pipe here. We'll start by pulling these four bolts out first. They're uh, 10 millimeters, so go ahead here and pull these off. Now that we got the box dropped in, this truck has a plow on it, so it has like this auxiliary wire here. I'm gonna find a different way to route that, but to get in there to get those bolts back in, we're gonna have to pull the top off this box, these four nuts here. So I'm gonna start that process right now and then uh, get this box actually bolted into the truck. Right now, we're gonna install the new seal on the hood. You don't reuse the old one off the old air box. Um, they give you a brand new one. Um, now you kind of put like this uh, cushiony end out. Um, it should just feed right up in here like this on the groove and this will fit in here perfectly. And then seal up on top of the air box right here when it's installed. So let me try to get this in here right now and uh, show you what it looks like when I get it on. We got it installed. You just want to take your time and install it properly. There's a little groove on the gasket. You just want to make sure it sits in the hood perfectly firm all the way around. Just play around with it, run your fingers around it. Then when you're done, just double check that it's perfectly good all the way around. And like I said at the beginning, you want like this little cushiony side down so it sits up on top of that air box perfectly when the hood uh, comes on down. So let's keep moving along here. The next thing we got to do is take the mass airflow sensor off um, the factory pipe, get installed on this new pipe and then uh, we'll start getting the filter installed. Now you have the mass airflow sensor right here on the factory intake. You want to take this off and put it right here on the Whirly pipe, the new pipe. I got the Torx head bit. I'm not exactly sure what size it is because it doesn't say on the actual uh, screwdriver, but it fits in there fine. So let's go ahead here now, remove this and uh, get installed on the new pipe. Now that we're on the topic of seals, you want to take the upper lid to this box and this seal, um, let me come right over here with this. Um, put it right in here so it doesn't scratch it up. Um, this seal right here is going to go right on here. Um, we'll get it on here and then just want you to cut off the excess. Um, I guess they might give you a little bit extra, but um, we'll see what happens when we get it on. So let's go ahead here now and uh, we'll get this installed. Now we got the seal on the upper lid for the intake box. Um, that was actually kind of a pain in the butt to get on there, but now that we got it on, and um, you just want to take like a pair of snip or something like that and just trim off that little bit of excess. And that's all you have to do, but just start on one end, work your way up and around it. And it should go on there fairly smoothly. Like I said, it took some time, but um, with this whole process, you just want to take your time, make sure you get everything 100% correct. The new seal's on, um, box installed, the mass airflow sensor on the new pipe, the seal on the upper lift for the box. Um, it's time to get the air filter on, get this boot connected to the turbo horn, and just clean it all up. Um, like I said, I'm really impressed so far with this. Um, fit and finish is really well, as you can see, like with this brace right here. 
how tight the box actually fits in here and everything of that sort. Um, even the powder coat and everything like that is just top quality. Um, like I said, there's three clamps that come with this. We'll get the boot on the intake or on the turbo horn. Um, can everything connect it up? You want to get this filter on here two inches from the end. I just play around with it to get it right. You're supposed to take like a marker mark and do all this stuff, but this pipe's black and I really don't have anything else to make it work. So, guys, I'll just take my time, measure it out, get everything fit and right, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Time for the final piece of the puzzle. We're gonna get this boot on the actual intake horn. So we'll put our clamp on the boot just so it's not a pain in the butt at the end. Slide this boot on. Um, as you can see, like, cause there's a little rivet in here. It's supposed to stop right here. You can feel it when it gets put in where it actually stops. So like right there. So get that on. We'll take our 11 millimeter, tighten that up so it's nice and tight, and then we'll get our uh, pipe on. I'm just gonna take the impact, tighten that up a little bit. Now we'll get our next clamp on, get our pipe on, run it right in the air box as so. Perfect. So that's how it's looking right now. We'll just get our filter attached right here into the box. So now we got this on here to clamp tight. Last thing we're gonna do is take our filter. Like I said, you only leave about like two, three inches right here just for this filter to slide on. As you can see, like everything just fits really perfect up in here. Just make sure this is perfectly aligned to the box. Always take your clamps first, like even here as you saw before. I put the clamp on the boot before I slid it on because it's a pain to get up over this hump. Same thing here with this pipe. So always just take your clamp first like this and get it on here, then uh, just slide it on. All right, perfect, so that's the final product. Everything fully attached. The last thing that we gotta do now is just take the lid for our air box. And the thing I forgot to mention too was this seal goes on the hood. It does not go on the uh, actual lid for the box. I forgot to mention that before. So just make sure that um, you get that. There we go, fully installed Whirling intake. Um, like I said, I gotta find a different way to route this wire. There's really no good way because whoever installed it didn't put enough slack in this thing. You can't really route it anywhere, so I think I might just have to pull it off, reroute around, but that's another story for another time. Like I said, fit and finish this fits really well. Um, like I said, really easy to go together. It like, couldn't have taken me more than 45 minutes max, but like I said, this is my first time doing it. Next time should be a breeze. But other than that, I'm um, gonna be happy with it. Gloss Black's just super clean. Fits in here really well. Definitely pulls the engine bay together and gets rid of that plastic ugly filter right there. But other than that, guys, that's about it for this video. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.